Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a HomeSense haul, so just a whole bunch of random items that I got for around the house. And if you aren't familiar with HomeSense, it is basically the Canadian equivalent of TJ Maxx. Um, it's like a home decor store and other items as well um, that are at reduced prices than other stores that sell those similar items, I guess. Um, so on the price tags, they always have like the retail price at other stores and then their reduced price and yeah if you guys are familiar with TJ Maxx it's exactly it's the same thing I got my loyalty card from HomeSense but it's a TJ Maxx loyalty card even though there are no TJ Maxx's in here maybe there are just not in my city anyways so I got a whole bunch of random items for my house um, basically ever since I moved into my new house in last summer I have become obsessed with that store um, I just love it for getting a whole bunch of new things to decorate my house and yeah. I actually went in there looking for a spring wreath, which sounds ridiculous, but I'm obsessed with wreaths for our front door. I just think it makes it look so much prettier. We have like a black door. Um, so yeah, I started with the Christmas one and then I went into a Valentine's Day one and then I had an Easter spring one, but it has like e pretend Easter eggs on it. Anyways, I didn't find a wreath, um, <laughs> but I got a whole bunch of other things anyways. And this is kind of a multi-purpose room. So I have Molly drinking from a water dish right there, and then I gave the dogs treats to try to keep them occupied while I film. Um, so Chloe's still eating hers on the couch. Why don't you go on the couch and don't drip all over me, Molly Mae? That's a good girl. Okay, now I'll be in the middle between you guys. Okay, so first off, I got a fake plant. And I didn't think I'd be the type of person to buy fake plants. I mean, not that there's a type of person, but I was like, I don't know, just when I didn't have my own house, I was just like, oh, well, why don't you just get real flowers or this or this? But I don't know. Now I'm like, this is really the most practical. And it started when I had on like a really high shelf over Christmas, I had a poinsettia that was given to me. And poinsettias are bad for dogs if they ingest it, they're toxic. So I wanted to keep it high up so they couldn't get them because Chloe would eat anything she can get her mouth on. Um, so I put it on a very high shelf, and then once it died, or once the Christmas season was over, I took it down, and I'm like, oh, now that, like, on the top of the bookshelf, it looks so empty. So I was gonna get, like, another real plant, but I was like, it doesn't make sense to put a real plant at the very top, on top of a bookshelf that I can't reach to water it. So then I ended up going with a fake plant. Um, and then I used to have, on our dining room table, um, a Christmas plant and this is actually a real plant but as you can see well first of all it's way past Christmas um, but it's now finally starting to die um, so I figured it's time to get rid of this I'll keep the pot and use it for next Christmas or I guess this Christmas but I wanted to have something more spring like since that's kind of like wintry and depressing since it's all dying so this is exactly the same as if you just buy real ones and they look like real as well but it's fake so I don't have to water it and I think it'll just bring like a whole bunch of new life to the table and our table is like espresso black and the couch is all like a dark leather and so I thought this would just be really nice on the table. So talking about food type things I guess, I got this um, fruit basket and then it also has a banana holder. Um, right now I was just using, well I got a set of mixing bowls and the largest mixing bowl, I use that to have fruit. And I eat an apple and a banana every day and then if there's any other fruit that's in season I'll get that as well. But definitely an apple and banana every day. So I go through a lot of fruit. fruit. Um, so I had was looking at something similar to this in one of the Avon catalogs that my mom gives me and says if I see anything I like, um, but I just never got around to tell her that I'd like to have that. Um, and so then I saw this at HomeSense, it was only $7.99, so you can see kind of their prices and what do they say, suggested 13 So I mean it's not that much of a deal, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, I was, I hope it's not going to be too big, I don't think it will, but yes, I can't wait to put all my fruit in here now. Then the next item, which actually I also went in looking for these, um, are some photo frames. Um, so I got two of these ones, they're just kind of, again, kind of espresso black, and the other one I haven't unwrapped yet, because they kind of wrapped it up nicely for me. Um, but these are going to go, or at least one of them is going to go in the, like, living room, TV room. Um, so that's why I wanted the dark, because the shelf is dark, the couches are dark, the, like, it's kind of open concept from the dining room, so that's 
dark. So anyways, I didn't want like a bright frame. And then this one is going to go into my office, which is full glare. But anyways, it's just kind of just like metal stuff. Um, my office is it's just a lighter room um, and well, it's all like pine and birch, like an Ikea wall unit and Ikea desk and stuff. So it's light, so I didn't want to have something dark. So basically what I'm going to put is in our our cruise photos, um, just two of them or three of them, however many I put up. On the formal nights they have um, people taking pictures. So we got four and so I haven't decided which ones. Um, there's this one which is kind of cute of us just looking at each other. And then this one, same night. And then the two other nights are this one and this one. So um, I'm going to put those ones in these frames. Um, I haven't decided which one which, but yes. And then the next item is not home decor. It is food or something edible. Um, it is stevia. So basically this is a sweetener like sugar but it is zero calories and it's supposed to be healthier than sugar so they say natural calorie free sweetened with pyre organic stevia measures cup for cup like sugar and gluten free. Um, and why I got this one specifically is because it says bakeable blend. Um, a lot of times the other kind of sweeteners are more just to sweeten up your coffee like sweet and low or... I don't know, all those kinds that are, you just get them in little amounts. Um, you can't actually bake with them because they'll change the texture of whatever you're making, like if you're making a cake. Um, so this one is actually one you can bake with. So that's pretty exciting. And I mean, that looks really good. <laughs> no, that's what, well, I, I meant to buy this a long time ago, but I just hadn't. And then I walked by and I was like, oh, that dessert looks good. So maybe I'll see if I can make something like this with my stevia. And it's like surprisingly really light as well says equivalent of five pounds of sugar and this is I don't know oh this is 10 ounces or 284 grams so yeah it's like really light oh wait and I have two more items so the next one is again kind of food related um, and this is an item that I had actually seen in a magazine I think when I was like at the dentist's office or something in the waiting room and I just it caught my eye in the magazine but I didn't think much of it um, and then I was just walking by and I saw it and I was like oh that's that thing for the magazine I should buy it um, and really what I should have done I should have like made a note of the brand and the thing and did my own research on it before I actually bought it but I couldn't help myself and I'm not I don't go to home since that often so I wasn't gonna go back there for like a month or two and then they have all new items so yes I was like I have to buy it now um so it is this um like microwave rack that it, apparently it's a chip maker and food slicer so you can make fat free crispy chips in three minutes in the microwave so I was just blown away with how cool is that and then I'm thinking about it I'm like how can it actually be crispy in a microwave in three minutes I don't know. So, again, I should have done research, but I'm going to try. Um, basically, when those, like, tea fallow, those, like, fryers, deep fryers that don't take oil or a lot of oil came out, um, it's like a tablespoon of oil can make you, like, a whole batch of fries or something. I really wanted one because I was like, oh, it's a healthy way to have fries. And then I was like, okay, well, I don't really have fries that often. And, I mean, I, I don't need to pay, like... $200 for that like appliance where if I just bake them again I don't use that much well anyways so I didn't get that because I don't actually need it but then I saw this and it was only where's the price tag oh it's only $14.99 so 15 bucks maybe it'll work I don't quite get it because they say you don't need any oil which is good like that's you know um and yeah you just cut it really slicey with the mandolin that they include and then put it on the fryer or the rack and then put in the microwave and then take it out and let it cool and then they're chips. I don't know. So I'm gonna give this a try probably even tonight um, and yeah well maybe I'll do a review on it for you guys. Um, this is my like vlog random channel. Um, I hope it works. So I don't have potatoes in the house because again I'm not really a fries eater but sometimes if Chad and I make like burgers on the barbecue or something we'll want to have some fries but I'm going to try it with an apple because I have lots of apples. Um, I hope it works. And then the last item is some artwork. And I know I 
usually buy my artwork from like AliExpress online where you just get the canvases. Um, and I still have to stretch the canvases for those purple flowers. I haven't done because we went away and stuff and we will do that as well. But I saw this and I fell in love with it because they're so pretty. They are, oh I can see through here. Um, it is a set of two and they are starfish and like other shells. Um, so I was thinking now I'll probably put it in my office because like I said my office is kind of like this nice light color so it's kind of pretty and airy like it wouldn't fit upstairs where I usually film like with all the black furniture and stuff um, but well it could because it looked nice as a contrast but anyways they're also too small for that big room because yeah and we have big artwork anyways so my office and then once we finally get our bathroom done um, I'm thinking I'll put them in there because I kind of want to have like a really light and airy feel for the bathroom and these for the both of them for the set it was $20 um, compared to 35 Ooh. Um, so yeah, those are all of the items that I got from HomeSense. I'm pretty happy with all of my purchases. I like them. Um, alright, so that is it for today. I will, yeah, I'll probably will do a little review on this. Um, hopefully it works. And I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.